Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause I love you. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah Ray, and I'm here with my very first Q&A video just so that y'all can get a chance to understand who I am. So let's get into the video. So um, I asked you guys a couple of questions. Well, I asked you guys to send me in some questions on my Instagram that y'all wanted to know um, about me or just for me to answer to get a kind of feel of the type of person I am. And I got a few questions right here that I'm going to answer. So um, the first question is, what do I do for fun? I would have to say what I do for fun is probably eat, sleep, sing, um, and be on FaceTime with my homegirls. That's all I do. Fun for me. I love going out, um, especially with my friends. We try and do something almost every weekend, if possible. So I would have to say that's what I like doing for fun. Just chilling, basically. Um... What are some of my passions? I would have to say my passions are um, music and graphic design and cooking. Anybody know I love to eat, so I'm bound to cook anything. Music, because I love singing, all that, making music, trying to record, all of that. And then when it comes to graphic design, I love doing edits, intros, outros, anything with graphics. I'm always doing something every single day. So somebody asks, what's my favorite color? Pink. Pink is my favorite color. Pink has been my favorite color since I could probably know colors. It's always been pink. And I also want to be an AKA so right there down the line um how many boyfriends i got how many i think i got <laughs> no but i only have one boyfriend and i've been with him um for four years um january it'll make four years so i only got one boyfriend i plan to have that boyfriend and turn it into my husband but we're not gonna get on that Okay, um, another question that I have is, what is one thing I would tell my 12-year-old self? Now, something I would tell my 12-year-old self would probably have to be stop hiding. Stop being scared and stop hiding. Um, growing up, I was always the shy the shy kid um i always wanted to be in my own little cone and still to this day and i feel like that stops me in a lot of things especially when it comes to singing because i'm very shy i worry about what people gonna say and what people think and it affects me so i would probably say to my 12 year old self and to my 20 year old self um Stop being shy and just be you. Stop worrying about what people have to think or what people are going to say. Be true to myself. Um, another question is, who's your inspiration for starting YouTube? Now, I've been watching YouTube since I was little, but I became into vlogs and all that probably like middle school and the most people that I probably would watch would have to be um the Daily Davises which is a family show um Jayla Corian Keisha Kaylee um who else I would say um Salam Imani um a whole bunch I'm trying to figure out like female wise Raven Elise um, and I mean, the list goes on and YouTube has just been something that I love, um, due to the fact that people are able to show 
their self and what they do in their life and i will always tell my friends y'all need to start a youtube channel you you need to do a youtube channel and they like you need to do a youtube channel so of course my girls you got um anaya music you can follow their youtube channel you got kenny lee you can follow her youtube channel you have angel nelson you can follow her youtube channel and they all do music so it's no point of me just not doing youtube and i'm telling people to i might as well just go ahead and do it myself so we all push each other oh and i can't forget my girl og show she got a, a youtube channel too so y'all go ahead and y'all follow them and yeah um look out maybe you'll see a couple of collabs here and there so yeah that's my inspiration of following doing youtube uh i get this question all the time all the time you know what no i'm gonna leave that question for the end because i feel like this youtube channel is gonna take y'all through the journey for this last question but this question someone asked me and i feel like it's a good question especially for people who's also experiencing it and sometimes may have a conflict so the question is how do you maintain juggling friendships and bonds throughout multiple friend groups so this question i feel like is very good due to the fact that i am in a girl group but i do have friends that's outside of a girl group but i would first start off with saying when it comes to being in a girl group all of us have different personalities um different i don't want to say we all trying to do the same career but i would say um different genres so i feel like because we all are different when we all put together we're just amazing and i feel like um basically i i made my own relationship with each and every one of them personally and it just became that we became a group so i would first say to maintain it's first start off with respect because everybody needs to know what hurts this person feelings um what's a touchy subject for this person i just feel like see it's kind of hard because we all just fit in together and it just seemed like we just fit but i would first say to maintain it i feel like it's just different because for one friend, I may can go to this friend for one thing. For another friend, I could have a conversation about this. Or I may can do this with this friend, this outing. So, that's why I feel like it's just a bond. But we all can still come together. Now, I do have friends that um, are outside of my friend group. And it's kind of hard because you don't, that person don't know the girls or the guys that I hang around. So it's kind of like, uh, who do you, who, who do I go to? Or even having them around in the same room. Um, but the only thing I try and do is I just try and share my love with each and every one of them. That's the only thing I could probably say. Um, I've been able to balance it. Um, talk to this friend one day, you know, check up on this friend that day. So hopefully that answer, it was all over the place, but I was able to do it. So if I was able to do it, you can do it. But this last question right here, this last question, I get it all the time, all the time. And I never know how to answer it. And the question is, when's the music coming? When's the music coming? Now, I feel like if I drop a day, I'm going to have to stick to it because this is recorded. But I would have to say Aaliyah Ray should be coming out officially with her own music December, January. December, January. 
I'm going more forward to the January, you know, to start the year off. But y'all possibly can get something maybe at the end of December, beginning of January. And if I don't, then y'all can be on my case. But that's the goal that I'm pushing for. End of December, the beginning of January. That is uh, spring, summer. Okay. September spring, show um, spring, summer. Y'all will have exclusive, well, a single from Aaliyah Ray. And it's coming from me. Y'all will get a single by the end of December, beginning of January. So for everybody that's asking, that's the answer to y'all question. So um, that's the end of my Q and A. Um, I eventually do another one of these for a little update, but these are some of the questions that I answered. Um, some of them was a repetitive question worded differently, but these are the ones that stuck out to me that I wanted y'all to get an answer to. So I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, and just follow this journey with me, um, doing the music. So that once it come out in January, y'all could see the struggle, the pain that I had to go through to put this single out. So I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. And look out for the next video. I'm out.